What's going on, Lamos? Dylan, aka Ducks here, bringing you episode 13 of the Pokemon Sun Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. If you're enjoying the series, leave me a like down below. Answer the question of the day. I want to know what country are you from? I've had some, uh, I've had some foreign viewer, viewers, viewers, viewers on the channel before, so I want to know where you guys come from. I am, uh, if you didn't know, I am from the lovely United States of America. So uh, yeah, just leave me a comment down below and let me know. In our last episode, we did go ahead and um, defeat this island trial. Look at that view. That is beautiful. Look at that. And I did fix my webcam. I noticed that I uh, I had a setting on it uh, having to do with my green screen where uh, there was like little patches on my hat or on my chair. Um, like there'd be these little weird dark pixely patches and that's because I didn't have my green screen settings quite right But I have fixed them. I'm looking clear as mud now um, Not actually, but you know better than I was um, What happens in this cave? I don't know. Oh, we're we talking to you. I'm the cutest of the seismic sisters, okay? That's nice to know. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on Taurus because I have no idea where I'm going and I want to go somewhere fast we're probably going to end up in a battle, though, faster than we could say, Holy Banana Pants. Um, oh, that's that's totally a uh, <laughs> that's totally an unlisted leaf thing. I watch that guy from time to time, and sometimes he's got some pretty wild sayings, and that is definitely one of his sayings. Holy Mac and Cheese and Meatballs, Banana Pants, something like that. Ho! Why you call me a ho? That's rude. Ho, that's a fiery MZ. <laughs> Congratulations on clearing Kiawe's trial. In that case, in that case, what? Can we go through? We get through the tunnel. I don't. It's not exciting. I'm making it. I'm trying to make it seem exciting. It's not exciting. Here you go. You're free to pass. Captain Mahler's trial is up ahead. Go along Route Eight, and you'll find it. Lush jungle. Lovely. I had a lot of uh, trouble in lush jungle in my uh, personal playthrough as well. So that's gonna kind of suck. Um. We are, however, going to pick up this Zygarde piece, whatever you want to call it, Zygarde cell, and we're going to pop in this house and see what's going on. I don't think really anything, just these Aether Foundation people, and um, looks like we get to choose our starter there. Just kidding, we actually don't. Um, just a slow poke on a table. I don't think they tell us anything interesting. Nothing we need to know anyway. Hold on just a moment, I am going to do something. All right, we are back. You didn't even see what I did. I didn't even need to tell you guys. You there. Who's talking to us? Three question marks. Oh, this guy. I'm going to give him a super geeky voice. Oh, excuse me. I'm a scientist. My name is Colrus. The theme of my research is bringing out the potential of Pokemon. What brings out the power of Pokemon is, I believe that is the bond they share with their trainers. And thus, my attention is drawn to trainers like yourself. Trainers brown to their Pokemon through the power of Z-Rings. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Ducks, is it? I'll remember your name. To com commemorate our encounter, let me give you a TM. Yo, Flame Charge! What are you doing on your arm there, bud? You aren't even looking, you aren't doing anything, you're just trying to act like you're doing stuff because you think you're sciencey, but you're not. Flame Charge is going to come in handy, though. If you're able to utilize the frame charge fully, then you'll be able to have a great battle with the totem in the next trial, the trial in the lush jungle. Z-Power, is it the true potential that I seek? Does it surpass the Mega Ring? Apparently there are inhabited uh, islands on Pokemon called Pokepelago here in Alola. Alola is fascinating, I believe that I will stay in Alola for some time. Well then ducks, I hope to see you again sometime. See you. Wouldn't want to be ya, good to see ya, nice to meet ya. I am going to check out that uh, TM, actually, because I might be able to teach that to Liability Arcelandit, Flame Charge. Yes, we are going to use that on Salandit. Bid it up to TM. It, oh, wait. Flame Charge is physical, though. It doesn't matter. Let's see. What, is, what does Smog do? Um, it's like a poison type attack that can poison... Um, I am going to go ahead and get rid of Sweet Scent and teach this guy Flame Charge because it can boost our speed stat and hopefully let us sweep through a team at some point in the game. I don't really see any other useful TMs to learn anyway. <laughs> at least not to my knowledge, I, uh, I don't. Look, let me, let me see, what am I doing here? 
We're gonna go ahead and leave Pablo at the front of the party, at least for now, until we start our trial. And we're gonna casually, cautiously, roll right into a Pokemon battle, which is what I was just about to say I wanted to avoid. I was losing constantly, so I'm on a trip to find myself. Well, you see, life's not about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. Go out and do something today. Don't be good with whatever society tells you to do. You do you, and you do what you want. Wisdom, straight from the lame ducks himself. You were challenged by Backpapper Kiana. I still said Backpapper. Sending out the Eevee, and we're going to send out a Pablo and see what goes on with that. Pablo, what you going to do, my homeboy? You going to transform into school form? Please don't use Extreme Evo Boost on me because I'll be very mad. I don't know why we wouldn't. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Hydro Vortex. Quick attack. That's going to do nothing. Who are you? You're just an Eevee. You're nothing. You're garbage. I'm going to blow you back. You're going to get swished into this whirlwind of water. Straight from my hula moves. Oh my gosh. This Eevee is about to get blown, black, blown back. In the arms of the angel, fly away on me in this dark. Okay, we're done with that. <laughs> Pablo's grown a level. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry you have to watch my channel. You're doing it by choice, though, so maybe I'm not sorry. Pablo wants to learn Tearful Look. You know what? Um, What does that even do? We're going to check that out. Um, Just judging by what I'm seeing, I'm not going to learn it. Because I have some pretty solid moves on my team. I'm going to keep those old moves. All right, we beat the Backpacker. I think about why I lost, but I, I don't dwell on it. Good for you. You received $480 for winning. Actually, I did, not you. Lovely. That's going to come in handy. Ah, oh, man. I've been wearing this hat a lot lately, but I really like it. I like the whole leather strap. It feels nice on my head. I'm enjoying the feeling of it being on my head. I don't really have nice hair, guys, so that's kind of why I wear hats. Just an insider tip there. Might be, might or might not be balding a little bit. I am, quite a bit. Little, little fun fact about the lame ducks there. We got Nornberry. Lovely. And there's more berries. We got Nornberry. There's more berries. And the more berries, it's a Nornberry. That wasn't a rhyme. Don't act like that was a rhyme. Don't think you're cool because you're not. We're going to avoid that girl because, uh, no thanks. Oh, and that guy. We're going to walk wide around him. Oh, you can't see us. We John Cena. You can't see me. You can't see me. I'm sorry. I, I keep apologizing to you guys, but I'm sorry, but I'm also not sorry because you're choosing to watch me. It's your choice. You can consciously turn away if you like, but you don't because you like me. That's okay. I like you too. It's a mutual relationship. We're going to heal up the squad and um, prepare ourselves for a ridiculously difficult Pokemon battle. I'm probably going to lose to land it to be quite honest with you guys. I probably am. <clears throat> Um, I just wanted to check my box and see if I had any power. Um, who doesn't want to take on some, like, bug grass types? Who doesn't? That's my question. Um, maybe Denver. Uh, actually, no, you got rock type moves. No, you don't. Um. Uh, you might come in handy, booty fly. You just might. You know what? We're just going to rock out with the party we have. I've got confidence and I've got faith that we are going to be victorious. Tonight we are victorious. Sorry about that. Stop apologizing, Dylan. You're not sorry. You're making them watch it. You're not making them watch it, but they're choosing to. Liability is going to go in our front spot. And then I'm going to be terrified for my life. How about that? Yo, we, de we defeated Kiawe's trial, so we get to buy more things! Do we even have money, though? I don't think we do. Super potions can come in handy, so we're gonna go ahead and ball out on those. I'm gonna buy six. It's a Nuzlocke. I ain't scared. How many do we have? We have, se we have 17. That's awesome. Um, let's see if we have anything to sell, because I think I might have picked up some items. I'm not entirely sure, though. Dive ball, Mystic Water, Quick Ball. I don't want to sell any of that. Um, yeah, I think we're we're up to speed here. 
We are up to speed. I'm going to see about giving Salandit a Fiery MZ, though, because I don't think it's holding it. Oh, uh, what do you want to do, my doe? Liability, I want to give you a held item. Let's give you Fiery MZ. That way you can blow back this uh, totem Pokemon. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Lovely. We're going to continue onward. I will, however, say that Salandit is a frail little trash bag head guy thing. Salamander. Trash bag salamander. <clears throat> so we got to be real careful with what we're doing. I'm not trying to get blown back with, a, with my Salandit. I want this guy to live because he's kind of our only choice. Speaking of that, I'm going to go ahead and save the game right now. There we go. And we gonna go this way and see what happens. All right. Yo, yo, yo. Thanks for stopping. Wait, how was her voice? I don't... Man, I noticed in the other episode, I completely did, um, oh, what's his name? The, the, ah, oh, man. The guy with type null, I, I did his voice completely different in the two different episodes. I went from like, I don't remember. I don't even remember what the voice was, but then I went with like a Seto Kaiba thing. I think I'm gonna rock out with the Seto Kaiba thing, though. I liked it better. Anyway, I forgot her voice, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Lush Jungle, the trial grounds for me, Mallow. I knew it was the first time I saw you and your team. You've chosen the only the finest ingredients. That's why I'm gonna make you help me. Uh, no, that's why you should try my trial. You are the one who got a sparkling stone straight from Tapu Koko, aren't you? You're so totally ready for this. Ah, the breath of the jungle. I can just tell what today's special should be. Let me guess. The Mallow special? Yep, it's gotta be. My personal specialty. The Mallow special. I'm gonna need you to find four ingredients for me. I'll need a Mago Berry, a Tiny Mushroom, a Revival Herb, and a Miracle Seed. Here you go. I brought you a Forge Bag to help you carry all the ingredients for your trial. That's not what it said, but I put in words in her mouth. That's what I did. Forge Bag is in our items. If you put the trial ingredients in your own bag, they'd get mixed up with your stuff, right? When you're hunting for ingredients, you're gonna want to rely on Stoutland's help. It'll find things that you don't see after all. You just remember what I told you at the farm, right? Just press the B button to use Stoutland Search. Okay, one more time. There are four things you need to get for me to clear your trial. A Mago Berry, a Tiny Mushroom, a Revival Herb, and a Miracle Seed. You got that? Okay, then here in Lush Jungle, it's time for Malo's trial to begin. Trial start, ladies and gentlemen. We, we about to do this. We about to do this. I'm not going to act like I'm not scared because I totally am. First thing we gonna do is we gonna hop on Stoutland and get in sniff mode. We gonna get in sniff mode, and I've got a feeling, yep, there's something right here. Could it be? There are some mushrooms sprouting in the soil. Which mushrooms do you need? I need tiny mushrooms, but big mushrooms are nice too. Oh, but the big mushroom attacked. Maybe I should have said big mushrooms then. Oh. A Parasect. Does that count as... Uh, I don't think this counts as an encounter. And I'm kind of worried now because, uh... I guess I have to try because I don't know. But I think this is a uh, trial Pokemon. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to switch out into someone that can take this thing on. And I guess we're just going to go from there and see what happens. Is that what we're gonna do? Because I need to know if I can catch this thing. We're gonna switch out into Pablo. I'm gonna throw out a ball at it and see what happens. As I said, I think it's a trial Pokemon, so I probably won't be able to catch it, but it's worth a shot. Pablo's schooling ability is going off, and we're becoming a big old whale. Fury Cutter is gonna do nothing to us because we're beastly and bulky. Let me guess, can't catch this because I'm in a trial. Is that correct? Um, first I gotta choose a ball. No, you can't catch any Pokemon until you beat the trial, so I was absolutely right. What we are gonna do is we are going to use our Z-Power. Um, it's not gonna do much because I think... I don't know if this thing is Bug Poison or if it's like Grass Poison, but I know it's Poison. And we get Spored. Lovely. Lovely, ladies and gentlemen. I love being Spored. It's actually one of my favorite things in life is to be asleep and not able to attack. 
So I'm gonna use an awakening on this guy, and we're gonna see about hitting that Z-move once again. Cross poison's going off. Please don't poison us. Thank you. Usually whenever I say please don't is when it happens, so I'm actually pretty happy that that didn't happen. Leech life. Going off. That did actually quite a bit. We're gonna use our Z-Power though, in our goofy looking outfit. Oh, I hate those outfits. They're terrible. <laughs> the full force Z move. Are you kidding me? <sighs> it has dry skin. I'm scared to switch in liability, too. You know what? We're going into Rowlet and we're gonna use Pluck. See if we can't take this thing out with a Pluck. Go Rowlet. Lit. Spore does not affect us because we too good for that. We ain't playing games, we Rowlet. How much is this gonna do? It bodies the Parasect. Thank you because I didn't want to catch you anyway, you dumb, dumb, dumb. That's all I- that's- my brain's not smart enough to think of a, a meaner nickname than Dumb Dumb Dumb. Hey, it's me, Mallow! Oh, a tiny mushroom, that's great! There's a secret to why you're so popular with some people. You'll have to try and find- try one to find out what it is. Still need three ingredients to, left to get, we need to get a whole big bag whole- I, I don't- I'm not even reading these right. I'm not, guys. What I know I am gonna do is I am gonna heal up because it would be dumb not to. Would absolutely be dumb not to. So we're gonna use a super potion on our wishy washy. And you know what? I'm gonna. Yeah, I guess we'll leave Salanded in. I don't know why we wouldn't would change it out. So I think that means if I encounter something in a grass patch, then I can catch it because it's not technically one of the trial mons. So yeah, we can get an encounter in here. Is what I'm trying to say. Oh, there's a wall there. I tilt my computer screen up. Actually, starting to see this better. All right, Stoutland, what do you got, buddy? What are you sniffing out? Oh, there's something in there. Definitely another trial Pokemon, aka uncatchable. It is a Fomantis. Lovely. Go liability. I want this thing to evolve so badly. I really, really do. We're gonna use the Z power on it. Inferno Overdrive. We're faster, that's awesome. Salanda is fast and powerful, however, it is not bulky in the least bit, so we don't wanna hit, eat a hit anyway. Liability surrounded itself with its full force Z move. Inferno Overdrive. Oh man, I love these Z-moves, man. They, they're like the animations are ridiculous. They're honestly ridiculous. <laughs> That's why I love them though. <laughs> oh man, liability is growing to level 20. Dirty Sanchez is now level 18. That's awesome. I am not mad about, um... Is that what that was? was... That had to have been a trial Pokemon, right? Oh no, it just left behind um, Mago Berry. <sighs> hey, it's me, Mallow! Thanks for telling me that again, because I wouldn't have assumed that by looking at your face. Congrats on finding that Mago Berry! The sweeter it, it, and more twisted a Mago Berry, the sweeter it will taste! Still two more ingredients left to get, just a little more to find. Awesome. Awesome. Sawsome. That's not a good rhyme. That's not a good rhyme. What's that? We got an X special attack. Absolutely useless, pretty much. I mean, it's not absolutely useless, it's just I don't use those. I ain't messing with that. I, I, I'm too good for that, guys. I'm too good for that. Um, we gonna hop across this grass, though. What's over here, though? X defense, or X defense, based on your inflection that you like to choose to say that word with. I am going to hop off of the Stalin because I think there's a little, little ledge over here that we can go over to. Yes, there is, and it is a max revive. Lovely. 
crawling on out of here. And then I'm hopping back on Stoutland because I like riding puppies. Only if they're big enough, though. Because you wouldn't want to hop on a small puppy. That might hurt it. Don't do that, kids. Please. <laughs> um, but actually, don't do that. Where is this thing we looking for? Um, I'm not pulling that up. What you think I am? Some kind of fool? What's this? We're going to pull this one up, though. It's a revival herb! How did I know that patch was the right patch, guys? I'll never tell. Oh! A Pokemon leaped out of the grass to attack! <laughs> I'm so ridiculous, I'm sorry. Stop apologizing! <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a Salandit. That's just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Z-Move again because I really enjoy watching it. Let's be quite honest. Except for again, not a fan of the Poké Ride outfit. It's just a little bit goofy. I am gonna take this opportunity to check my phone. See who be blowing up my phone. Ain't nobody blowing up my phone. Cause your boy is alone. Ain't got no friends. I don't go out to the bars. But that's all I got is not a lot of good rhymes. We're gonna forget that ever happened. How about that, guys? Sound good? Sounds good to me. Hey, it's me, Malo. That's a fine revival herb. Its bitter bite is even a shock to Pokemon, but w that's what will add depth to the flavor. Just one last ingredient left to find. it. Get back out there and find it. Um, okay. I'm surprised we're not getting any, any encounters right now. It just might not... It just might not be giving us any, though, due to the fact that we are, um... Due to the fact that we are in the trial at the moment. I'm gonna continue on this way, because I'm a Tauros and I like to run fast, just like Sanic Teherjorg. Your boy Sanic Teherjorg. Um, that's not where we want to go, this is where we want to go. Hey look, it's a Miracle Seed! How did I know that was there? I don't know, ha ha ha! It's me, Malo. That's a great miracle seed. Miracle seeds are bursting with nutrition. They really are a miraculous gift from the jungle. Oh, it looks like you've got everything. Okay, it's time for us to start cooking, so come on back to the entrance of the jungle. Alright, well. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> Had to do a little dance. Um, how are our Pokemon looking? They're looking sweet. They looking fly. Ah, uh, 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 ah. Uh. Till they die. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. Little throwback to my uh, middle school slash high school days. Listening to that 2000s hip hop at wrestling tournaments and stuff back in high school. Good times. Good times, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, ducks. Great. Now that's- now that we've got all the ingredients, we just need- <gasps> Sorry to keep you waiting. Wait, that was Kiawe. Sorry to keep you waiting. How are you, Mallow? Uh, sa dudes. Grass, fire, and water, hanging out. I've brought a thick club and a rare bone. And I brought you some fresh water and the usual rocky helmet. Thanks, Lana. Thanks, Kiawe. Now that we've got everything we need, you're up next, ducks. We're going to cook up a storm and lure out the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle. Let me see what you've got for me. One Mago Berry check, one Tiny Mushroom check, one Revival Herb check, one Miracle Seed check. Perfect! Just what the recipe calls for. Now we can make the Mallow special. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Stomach, not right now. The aroma of this tasty dish will draw that totem Pokemon right to us. Ready to start cooking? 
I'm gonna go ahead and say no, just so I can save the game. Got it, let me know when you're ready. Alright, sorry about the cutscene there, I actually ran off to the Pokemon Center, got some different items, kinda switched the team around it a little bit, tweaked it because, trust me, this is a difficult trial, I lost it like five times on my own, and I do not want to be taking any risks. Basically, my strategy is, oh, no, we're not. Basically, my strategy is I'm going to lead off with Rowlet and use an X attack on it and just see if I can't hit a super powerful um, pluck on the uh, totem Pokemon. And um, I've got liability with the fire type Z move, Z crystal I should say. And uh, just kind of set the rest of my squad up with good items. Gave Pablo the Mystic Water since he wouldn't be using his Z-move in this battle. Just kind of doing all the prep I need to to be ready for this uh, battle. Um, no, I'm not ready to start cooking. I am going to go ahead and save one more time since I decided to make some changes real quick beforehand. Um, again, sorry uh, about cutting you off. I just... It took me like 20 minutes to really decide what I wanted to do, and I didn't want to sit there recording myself <laughs> blabbering on about items and stuff. Okay, Lana. Flip that rocky helmet over and let's pour that fresh water into it. Here you are. Then in go the Mago Berry, the Tiny Mushroom, and the Revival Herb, and the Miracle Seed. Kiawe, let's use the Thick Club and the Rare Bone for a minute. There you are. Oh, ducks. Grab the Thick Club and the Rare Bone and pound it all to a pulp. I guess we're going to pound these ingredients. That's awkward. Crush it! I don't know how I feel about this. Grind it! Turn it to goo! I don't know what she's doing, but I don't really like it. A unique aroma begins to waft around the area. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbrush. That is a big bug! Totem Lorantis is here for a battle! Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Just gonna stick to the strategy I stated beforehand. Totem Lorantis is here. Its aura is gonna give it a speed increase, which kinda stinks. But we've got Rowlet, he's got the Quick Claw, and we're gonna use an X attack because I wanna be able to do some mega damage on this thing. It should sharply raise our attack if I use this item. We are going to go ahead and use the X attack and see what happens. I have no idea what this uh, Lorantis is going to want to go for. It goes for the X scissor. Doesn't do much. That's just fine. Calling on the ally Pokemon now. Alright, and in comes a Trumbeak. That's actually not good because we are a grass type. That's not good at all. Oh no! Okay, thank you. I almost went for the wrong move and I thought it was not going to let me take it back, but it did. We're going to go for the super effective Pluck. The Quick Claw is going off and we're going to use Pluck on this Lorantis, see how much it does. Well over half, that's awesome. Another X Scissor going off. And the Trumbeak's going to use Pluck on us, which is going to do a lot. Oh my gosh, that's not good. Alright, so... Game plan here. I'm going to go ahead and say the Lorantis will use Synthesis and then the Trungbeak will attack again. Because I do remember that thing having Synthesis and it being really annoying. So I think the smart thing to do here hmm, what seems like the smart thing to do is to switch into um, hmm, I guess I have to heal up here. It seems smart to uh, want to switch into um, Salandit, but I don't think its uh, Z move is going to be doing enough to knock this thing out, honestly. It's super, super, super bulky, even against a fire type Z move. There's the synthesis that we thought was coming our way, and I think Trumbeak's just going to hit us with another pluck. This thing's really annoying, honestly. Not a big fan. So, I think what needs to happen here is... Mm. 
I think what needs to happen here is we're going to use an X defense um, on our Dartrix and just hope that we can live these hits. It'll sharply raise our defense, which is good. Um, yeah, and we just hope and pray that we live these hits now. X scissor goes off, does relatively nothing. Supersonic goes off and we avoid, that's amazing. I guess, you know what? Might as well make ourselves as bulky as we can be, so I'm gonna use another X defense on uh, Dartrix here. I don't know why we wouldn't. So we ought to be able to hit, eat both of their hits now, especially the, since we have two X defenses on us. Pluck goes off. And it does nothing. That's amazing. This is exactly where we, we want to be with the battle. I am going to go ahead and um, heal up once again. Um, yeah, I am going to go ahead and heal up. And then uh, I, think it, I think we're just safe to maybe throw on another X attack on our Dartrix. And we should be able to take this thing out. Because unfortunately we don't have any stat boosting um, items. And the X items are sharp increases and they are items, so you can use them right away. You don't have to hope that you go first. So we're going to use another X attack on Rallet and, um, aka Dartrix. Excuse me. We're at plus four on attack and plus four on defense. Right where we want to be. We're going to eat up some more hits. And I think we are sitting pretty to go ahead and hit a super effective pluck on the Lorantis. I ought to take this thing out. I'm thinking it will. I would love it if our quick clock could pop. It doesn't though. X scissors going off, doing nothing, and um, I think we can even let a, live a crit pluck here. We're looking good. Pluck goes off, and yes, we do knock the Lorantis out. That is amazing. Because let me tell you, this thing is super annoying. It is bulky and it has synthesis. It very well may, may be the best Pokemon coming out of Generation 7. And I'm not even kidding. It may be the best competitive Pokemon in Generation 7. Nothing to mess with. I'm definitely, um, definitely happy a Trumbeak switched in because in my other playthrough, uh, it kept switching in, uh, what are they called? Uh, I keep saying, uh, I know, but, uh, <laughs> There it is again. Ah, cast form. It kept switching in cast forms that would use Sunny Day, so its grass type moves would get powered up. It could use um, Solar Blade instantly, and it was fire type, so it had uh, a lot of fire type moves on us, which really stunk. I am gonna go ahead and Hyper Potion up against once again, and we're gonna see about taking this Trumbeak out. Sitting pretty, ladies and gentlemen, just what I like to see. And, um,. Yeah, it looks like we've won ourselves an island trial. What is it? What is the proper move here? I guess pluck because it's just neutral. We're going to use a pluck. Mm. Don't do it. We hit ourselves in confusion. Definitely glad I have those X defenses up because if I didn't, that would be doing a lot of damage to myself. We're going to try and break through and get another pluck off and hopefully win this trial right here and now. We do take the Trumbeak out with pluck and we've won ourselves a trial, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely glad I stopped and went and got some items and moved my team around and strategized. Double slap. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to keep my old moves. Dirty Sanchez wants to learn Assurance. What does that even do? I don't even know. The target has already taken some damage in the same turn. This attack is doubled. That seems nice, but I think I'm gonna pass. We're gonna keep our old moves. Sorry about that. And we defeated the Totem Lorantis. <laughs> oh man. I am definitely glad we uh, stopped to do some things at the Poké Center because I don't know. I don't. I didn't have a good feeling about things before. I'm ah, just it's a relief because this was by far the most difficult trial in my casual playthrough. Wow, ducks, you're strong, huh? You were really able to draw out the flavor of your Pokemon in that battle. The totem on poke po totem Pokemon bowed right down to you. Yes, even back at Whale of Volcano Park, my vaunted Salazzle didn't stand a chance. Nor did the wishy-washy I trained so carefully. 
All right, you've cleared all three of Akala's trials. You even managed to get through my trial, and I'd say it's a real doozy. Here, a gift for such an inspiring young trainer. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think we are getting ourselves a grass-type Z-crystal. That's lovely. We complete the trial. That's what I like to see. I'm going to go for a big stretch and yawn because it is late here. It was like 10 o'clock at night and I worked all day. You received a Z-Crystal from Mallow. Let me show you how to use grass-type Z-moves. You go like grass. Okay. Grass. That's how it's done, I guess. Don't look at me, look at her. Um, since you've cleared my trial, Ducks, I want you to help me train some Pokemon from here in Lush Jungle. Here, have some nest balls. Sweet, so we're able to get an encounter in here, too. Hmm, looks like Lorantis didn't finish all the food. Oh, I'll, uh, I really want to give you guys... I want... <laughs> I really want you guys to try some. Have a bite key, I'll weigh you too, Lana. If you insist. Lick. Okay. I don't like those noises. The flavor from the rare bone seems to fill my whole mouth. We're just gonna move on from that one. It tastes so good you might melt. No wait, is that my tongue that's melting? Uh, it's 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 so spicy. Ah. <sighs> I almost made a joke there, but I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> what? What's wrong with you guys? Don't you have any taste? Are you headed off to Olivia's for the grand trial? <laughs> oh, man. Uh... Ooh, what's that sweet smell I smelled drifting my way? Could it be a tasty Mallow special? I heard you cleared Mallow's trial, yeah? All right, then I have a present for you. This little TM right there is Smart Strike, a move that will never miss. We got Smart Strike. There'll be kinds, there'll be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventure brighter. There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to go check out on your island challenge, the Dimensional Research Lab. Let's get on over there with extreme speed. Okay. Hey there, ducks. Guess I should congratulate you on clearing all three of the Akala Islands trials. Congrats. Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's grand trial. Olivia is an expert user of rock-type Pokemon. You're going to want to catch some grass-type Pokemon in Lush, Lush Jungle to add to your team. Whenever you're ready for the Grand Trial, come see me at the Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah? But just ask Rotom if you need some help. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and with that, I am going to end the episode off. If you did enjoy, please leave a thumbs up down below, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, all that fun stuff. We're going to get an encounter in Lush Forest or Jungle, Lush Jungle next episode, and then uh, go take on our Grand Trial. But with that, this has been a long episode. My name is Dylan, a.k.a. Ducks. Stay lame.